All right, so hey everybody. This is gonna be kind of a look through of this book. Um, it's the Music Study Project, and it is uh, based on science. This is um, something new that they were trying. I got the ISBN number here. The price. Um, you can buy these on eBay. I've seen them, but they go up for uh, anywhere up to thirty-five to about forty dollars. Um, so I was not willing to put out that much money for this little book. It does come with um, audio CD. And there's the tracks for them. And they pretty much link up with the lessons that you'll be learning. So, let's go ahead and um, I found this book in the Los Angeles Kino Cunia in California. And this is what it is. So there's the CD for it. And some information, so I'm gonna have to take the CD out so I can show you the pages a little better. That's what it looks like. There is, I don't really have page numbers. Oh, 100, it looks like probably a little over 150 pages. 156, about pages. So it's a pretty small book, and there's not very many lessons in here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna like the music, because it seems like it might be really high pitched. Um, I can't remember the artist's names, but this is for science. And I believe you can use your phone and scan, and it'll bring up the music video that goes along with it. You can also find these on YouTube, the music videos with the music. And this kind of goes through the lyrics and highlights all of the important words. They have pretty much looks like just a breakdown. I don't know if you can see that. It's actually really hard to see. So it has a breakdown of each scene inside the music video. Kind of explains a lot of it. Oh yeah, here's some explanations. So this is a middle school book. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. That's for the first song. Scan. Kogosei. Kogosei no ita. Give you this. Kogosei, is that like um, photosynthesis? Looks like photosynthesis, what it's teaching in this one. Maybe not though. <laughs> I'll look up more information about it later on what each song. I'm not sure what each song is teaching. There's the scan. So this is pretty much what the book is. So this is why I didn't want to spend. Whoops. This is why I didn't want to spend 30 bucks on it because I figured it was going to be pretty simple on the inside. And like I said, you can find these um, videos, the music videos, online for free. I've seen them before. I didn't really like the music too much, but I was really interested in the book. So that's why I've been looking for one. Track four. Oh, the book needs to be broken in. It's a little hard, but with the CD up front, too. Oops. So, let's go from the back. I'll look, I'll show you some good um, science books from middle school. This is the music artist. So, if you don't like their type of music, which usually I don't. Oh, cool. Periodic table. I remember studying these, having to sit and memorize them all. Well, this is really cool. It's cool for me anyway. I don't know if you guys would like it, but there's a periodic table. So that's pretty cool. This one 
talks about eclipses, I think. Looks like. Maybe seasons as well. So I don't know exactly how well this book was received in Japan. Like, I don't know if a lot of students bought it and actually learned a lot from it. Um, Cause it looks like it only covers just a few topics for, um, for science. So I'm not certain exactly how well this book held up. Cause I mean, they haven't made, I don't think any more than just this one and the, the last one. Let's talk about salt. Colors. So they haven't made any but the two books. So I don't know exactly if if this book did well or not. Kind of interesting to look at. I'll definitely be reading it. Cool. Here is the periodic table one, I believe. Isn't that what it was? Or is it just showing you certain? Uh, atomic something. Maybe I'll show you this one, track five. Hey everybody, so I am going to put the CD in for the first time, the music study. Um, got my headphones. Ooh, too loud. Okay, so we have the wonderful CD here. The Music Study Project. Take out my Ajin CD. Let's see what pops up. Shall we? Okay, so let's go ahead and play audio. This one might be a video. <laughs> I'm a little loud. Man, how do I get out of this? Track list. Part. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Let me figure this out. I think, I think I have to go to this website. <sighs> I don't know. Okay, so here it is. Yeah, I'm reading <laughs> to read the instructions right here in the inner part of the book cover. That's what the cover looks like. I always like to look at the cover. That's what the cover looks like. Out the uh, uh, dust jacket. Um, so, um, ooh, wow, they actually have more books. So they have a, oh my god. They, they have an English one and they have a math one. I have not seen these, Let me show so. You what they look like. Quick, go around. So you have the, um, this one is the history, history, right? Yeah, the Xi, and you have um, science, which is the Rika, and then you have the English, kind of cool looking, and then you have the um, Suji, so and you have some math, English studies. So this is the website. So you just pick which book that you have. So I would pick the second one up there. And they just kind of have Go to this website. Let's see what it says. See what happens when I click it. Goody goody. 
so I'm pretty sure there is one in here. I just didn't see it. So it says, Saito ni rogen shite miru bai. So then they do give you um, the URL and then they give you your login ID and they give you a password. So each book comes with its own password, it looks like. <clears throat> so let me type it in. So I typed in my password. This is what shows up. I'm going to go ahead and save that password. So it's pretty much just looks like the um, music videos for each lesson. Um, which, as I mentioned in one of the other videos, is that you can find these for free on YouTube. They're just like a, a single video of all of them put together. So let's pick the first one. Ooh, excuse me. Loading, loading, loading. So we are loading. Oh, you can't even hear it. Here, let me unplug this. Let's see, this corresponds with the first track. So let's see if I can figure this one. So this one is a chemistry um, chemistry song, I guess. And it is um, seventh grade. So you have to download this um, A-reader thing on your phone and then you'll be able to scan those. And that will pretty much bring up what I'm looking at here. So, just ignore that. <coughs> and then they give you oh, Yokaido. Lyrics. Sorry. Um, Kanashimi. Kanashimi. Yokaido. Yokai sounds familiar, but um, let me look up. Oh. Soyability. Soyability. So, how things, um, soluble, um, solubility, doesn't that mean to, like, dissolve and stuff? Yeah. So, yokai apparently means, um, soluble, and do is the degree, so it means solubility. Let me give you a close-up of some of the lyrics. So they give you the lyrics here, but I'll definitely have to learn some of this vocabulary. Over here they mentioned something inside the heart. It looks like over here too. But um, let's move on. I will read this closer later. So I guess all of this is just the lyrics again and what scene they appear. So the lyrics just go down the side. And then on here, they give you scene and then a breakdown of probably what they're showing in the video. So let's watch some of the video and see. Thank you. 
is pretty much just a simple music video. <coughs> I'm definitely going to have to read and translate everything before I'll be able to understand it. There are quite a few words in here I don't understand because it is a chemistry song. So there's a lot of words in here I haven't seen before. Um, this one says shield. So probably salt. I'm not sure what that is. Some sort of iron. Some sort of crystal maybe? I mean it says so I mean it gives you like the color, no color, no color, blue, no color, and then it gives you like um must be the shape. This one gives you the length, kinda like the shape of it. And I guess it's all a shape. So it must be some sort of um element. I suppose there are elements of some kind or some sort of material. Um, and then, like I so said, the name of the song is Solability, so it must talk about um, the solability of each one. And let's see. So, like I said, I don't know too much chemistry words. So let's see. Sorry for that glare. I'm trying to. Hold you up. I'm definitely going to look up these uh, highlighted words because they must be important. Yokai. Yokai again means um, dissolve or soluble, I believe. It means to dissolve. And so there kind of shows you, I guess, the solubility of. Well, that's a sato. So that's sugar and water. Um. They have some questions here. So there's the minerals again. The bottom part is temperature. Down here, so that's the temperature. And then this part up here is the weight, I believe. Oh, yeah, 100 grams. Um, so, tokeru. I don't know, but let's see what, what's that? Uh, it pretty much just goes into a whole bunch of different stuff. I'm definitely going to have to look into it. I mean, I guess I can translate it and explain if you guys really want me to explain one of the songs. But, um, I don't really see the point in doing that. I mean, it'd take me probably a while. There's math involved. <laughs> Is. Math is not really my strong point. But, I mean, chemistry was really fun in high school. So, man, I can't believe they're teaching chemistry in elementary or <laughs> I can't believe they're teaching chemistry in middle school here. Because I did not learn any chemistry at all until I got into high school. But this probably isn't... It's nothing dangerous, it's just the solubility of certain um, items. <laughs> Not really elements, but... Um. So it looks like they have chemistry. The other one, the first one, I'm not really sure what it is. The other one looks like biology and the other one looks like... Like... Earth, I'm not sure. But that is one of the songs. So this one, I think, was the photosynthesis one. So I guess I can kind of show you a clip of music. I don't know if this is considered copyright. I don't know if I should really put these musics on, um, songs and music videos on here. But um, this is just a breakdown again of the music video. That is going to play, and they have a lot of words, and then they pretty much teach you everything here. Whew, excuse me. It's good, it's good on I.
I guess I'll show you a little bit of that song. Kind of hear the difference, I guess. So pretty much, oh, I think that was the one with all of the elements. I'm not certain though. Let's play this last one. I think this one has elements in it, or some of them. it in this um this book and these videos and such um let me show you the track list once again you can see them all this time without that glare and it's like i said if you want to look up these mu music videos i have seen them on youtube i'm not sure if it's been taken down or not but um, I have seen these before, and that's one reason why I was trying to decide if I really wanted to purchase this or not. Because that type of music is really not one I'm interested in. It's, I don't know, I don't really like the high-pitched singing that their music is. There's like one or two songs I like, but um, I don't know, I, I just don't really like the Vocaloid, I think. Yeah, Vocaloid Science is what it is. Um, but uh, I thought I would give it a try. That's one reason why I said I wasn't, um, didn't really want to buy it because of how, like, high-pitched and stuff. And I don't even, I don't know, you guys should let me know. You Let me know if you guys like that kind of music. I mean, if you do and you want to learn some of these songs, um, then I would go ahead and 
purchase it. Definitely there's a lot of really advanced kanji in here. So I'm definitely going to have to do quite a bit of translating. Um, I'm definitely going to learn some of them. I like the songs. The lyrics. I just don't like the singers. <laughs> so, and I mean, it's nice having like the, you know, science explanation part in it. So, I mean, I'll definitely look into it. But, I mean, I, that's pretty much all I can really show you. Um, there really isn't that much more to this um, book other than a breakdown of each well, of the music I videos. Was... Reading them, I don't know if I'll be learning the songs. I could put them on my iPod, but I probably won't at the moment. I don't know. I, I might just listen to them on here for now. Oh, excuse me. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I've got to translate it first before I start listening to the songs because there are a lot of words in there. A lot of grammar that I don't know. So, definitely going to be, um, let me look. Let's look at what this means. You see, like, this one has, um, number three here. So that's a high, um, high middle school level. So it's, uh, ninth. Ninth grade, I'm not sure what that is. Real quick. It's homono ni? I don't know. Seems like there's so many different ways to Nope. Um Motsu ni. Let's see how you pronounce it. You pronounce it Butsuri. Uh, there's too many ways to pronounce these kanji. So it's physics. Law of nature. Physics. That's what that means. And it's pronounced Butsuri. Right there. So uh, that one's physics. Then I equals Riki Gaku. I'm not sure what that means. So I'm definitely going to have to um, look up <laughs> look up a lot of these words before I even begin to understand what I'm seeing. It's kind of an interesting idea, an interesting book. And they're they're like coming Japanese. out with a lot more like song books that teach kids and help them memorize things, which would have really helped me in school, I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> Songs are the way to go. They are amazing in memorization and I definitely wish they had a lot more of these type books for me um, when I was I think school. it went over everything in it I mean it seems like pretty simple stuff the online I showed you pretty much what there is online um, I can't enter any of the other um, any of the other subjects because I don't have a password for them so, and that's all right. Oh, here's some pictures though. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. Oh, although, here, let me show you what I'm gonna, this is the English one, um, English words. track list. Hmm. So pretty much what it is is just uh, English words in that one. That was kind of interesting. Not that I'm buying it or anything. I'm just looking at the, uh, there's a link to the places you can buy them. So this is on Amazon right now. And usually Amazon doesn't have a lot of like um, pictures to show inside the book. Go back real quick. Let's look at the Sansu one. And there is pictures. So these ones actually, they have pictures out now. So, I mean, it, they pretty much are the same thing as what I got, but different. 
Um, this one's math, so different subjects. <laughs> oh my gosh. I remember those um, equations. Those are always so fun to learn. But it has pretty good ratings in it. Let's see. Let's look at the ratings for these. So, about three and a half, four, four, and this one has four and a half. So, I mean, they have pretty good ratings among people that are using these books. So, I think that is one reason why I wanted to get them is because it did have a good I rating. Can really imagine people learning that much from these books because they're only ten songs, ten topics for each subject, and that really isn't a lot. Though it would be helpful, like, like I said, like learning the elements would be helpful because that leads into other topics that you can learn with science and stuff like that. Those songs would be really helpful, but I can't imagine with ten songs you learning that much. I think that's probably why it's under twenty bucks in Japan, because there really isn't that much information in here. The only reason it's probably as high as it is is because it comes with an audio CD. But, um, I don't know. I mean, let me know what you guys think of it. I think it's a pretty cool idea. I just wish they didn't pick the singers or the Vocaloid. I bet those are really, the, the, the artists or, I mean, I don't even know. I don't even know if I can, it's considered an artist, but I wish they picked a different singer. But... Then again, this one, Vocaloid is probably really popular right now, so I don't know. It's just not my taste in music. I definitely like rock music, but I don't like the uh, high-pitched technical, uh, high-pitched techno music. And the singing is sometimes it's really hard to understand what they're saying, even though it's another language, and even though I don't know the words, it's really hard to differentiate between the different sounds when it's this type of singing. So, other than that, I mean, it's like I said, it's it's pretty much like a novelty item, kind of like the drill books that you saw in my other video with the, the Uncle drill books. They're kind of more of a novelty item, I think. I mean, it has a practical use, but, like the other drill books, but I mean, like, you don't really need them. It's more of, like, something fun to have. I don't know. The pictures in here are pretty cool, though, so... I mean, I'll definitely read it. I just don't know how much of it I'll understand without a few hours of research. So, yeah. That is my review on the Music Study Project. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye. Okay. One more thing. I did not show you the address that I went to. So if you want to look that up, go to that address right there. God, I hate this. This jacket's getting in the way. All right, cool.